Hello and welcome to this presentation. Today we will talk about the concept of infinite. In the Merriam-Webster dictionary we define infinite as extending beyond, lying beyond or being greater than any pre-assigned finite value, however large. It's something that it cannot be measured by normal means. We represent the infinite with the symbol of the Leibniz gate. It's like an 8 but horizontally. We can expand this symbol in the 2D plane to create a Mobius strip, or we can even expand it to a 3D plane and create a Klein bottle. Uh, we can only grasp a minimal part of its versatility. However, it is important that we understand the difference of what is massive to what is infinite. Let us think, for example, in the number of stars in the observable universe. After many researches that have been condensed by David Koenig at the Ithaca College in New York, he established a very rough estimate of 10 trillion galaxies in the universe. Multiplying that by the Milky Way's estimated 100 billion stars results in a large number indeed, a one with 24 zeros. One septillion in the American number system, one quadrillion in the European system. And yet, this is not the biggest number that we can think. Let us put, for example, the Google. The Google is a mathematical operation of 1 multiplied by 10 to the 100th power. This is a 1 followed by 100 zeros. That's a very big amount of something. But can we be even more massive? Yes, yes we can. What if we elevate 10 to the Google power? We obtain the Googleplex, a one followed by a goggle of numbers. It's a number so big that it cannot be even written in the observable universe, or as Pat Bronson states, if all the supercomputers in the world uh, today had been put to the, the task of beginning of the universe 16 billion years ago by today's estimates, they couldn't generate that many zeros. However, these numbers, as great as they are, they are finite, they end. So, how can we put infinite in the most simple of terms? Let us provide the, the next examples. First one, the number of pi. As you know, pi is the relationship between the circumference and the diameter of a circle. It is a number that contains an infinite number of decimals, yet we can cut it in the, in the part that we want and our mathematical operations will not have any trouble and it will not be affected in a great way. Think of another example, our positive set of numbers and our negative set of numbers, both infinite. But what happens if we mix them? We will have another infinite who is double the amount of this and every and everyone I separate. Remember when you were playing on the uh, on the part with your friends and one of them said, oh I win by infinite and then you said, oh yeah well, well I win infinite plus one. Very clever, huh? Perhaps the most interesting way to understand infinite is by the use of sinus paradox. To do this, we need to move from one to two. No, not count, sorry. To move. Let's think about a one and a two. Let's move half of the way between these two numbers. Then we will move another half. The half of the previous distance then the half of the previous distance. If you do this every time half of the previous distance move, you will never reach number two. It's an infinite travel on a finite space. Think about the Penrose state on a 2D plane where you will never find the highest step or the lowest step. But however, these type of structures are only possible in 2D spaces. But what happens if we want to reach infinite in our reality? Let us return to the Mobius strip. The Mobius strip has only one side covering an infinite area. You know this side goes on and on, on and on without end, and you will never reach the other side, no matter how you try. The infinite on the palm of your hand. This is how we understand infinite as a way for our human brains to get beyond those limits that we pre-impose is what differentiates us from the animals as we are able to grasp these concepts and even we cannot understand them at all we can use them 
for us to get more knowledge. Thank you for attending and I hope you have a great day.